Well, this is uh, question number uh, 23rd um, OQT solved example straight lines topic right straight straight lines OSC question number 23 now in this um, question uh, equations of two bisectors are given I have not written the question equations of equations of uh, right equations of two lines are given like this x minus 3 over cos theta equals to y plus 5 over sin theta equation of first line you can see it's passing through 3 comma minus 5 point and having uh, a slope tan theta that is it is making angle t uh, theta with x axis another line is x minus 3 by cos phi so you can see it's the same only difference is this is making angle phi with x axis and slope is 10 phi only difference of theta and phi is there now let's represent these two equations uh, like this like um, um, this first and second first with red and second with uh, blue and see I have taken in the diagram I have taken theta is more than phi right but if you do this yourself you can do it yourself by taking phi more than theta the answer would come out to be same so you can try it yourself uh, the answer would come out to be same right so uh, see uh, like angle let, let's see if I've taken you know this is, I've drawn this line parallel to x-axis right that's why uh, and you know angle theta is the angle made by line with x-axis so this is not actually x-axis it's a line passing through minus horizontal line passing through 3 comma minus 5 right so so but um, when we measure angle we measure from x axis or line parallel to x axis same thing this is y axis or line parallel to y axis so I'm, I'm, i have to use this line to represent angle theta and phi now angle between these two lines now if you can see what is this angle between these two lines it is theta minus phi right this angle is theta minus phi now let's let's we have to find equations of angle bisectors of these two lines now let's quickly uh, draw angle bisector of these two lines angle bisector of these two lines is like this now what is this angle angle made by this is half of the total angle is theta minus phi so this angle is theta minus phi by 2 now let's find the angle made by the bisector with x-axis this angle is phi angle and and I add this angle half angle half angle between the two two lines that is theta minus phi by 2 so angle made by first bisector with x axis equals to phi plus theta minus phi by 2 that is theta plus phi by 2 so equation of uh, the bisector is it's a line passing through 3 comma minus 5 so y plus 5 equals to uh, you can say 10 theta plus phi by 2 or you can write sine by cos x minus 3 right so you can change the form and write in terms of sine and cos now let, let's see the the other bisector the other bisector is like this now you can see angle between two lines is theta minus phi right this is the angle between these two lines now what about the angle this angle if this angle is theta minus phi by 2 what about this angle angle the, the other angle between the two lines the other angle between the two lines let, let me write it here other angle between the two lines is pi minus theta minus phi right is the angle between the two lines if I measure half of this angle that is angle between the red line and the bisector or between the two this is half of this divided by two right divide this angle now I'm representing this angle now I have to find angle made by the second bisector with x-axis so what I'll do I have al already got this angle and in this angle I add the angle made by the red line with x-axis that is this angle right and we we represent this as theta angle so i add 
theta to, to this right so this is the angle made by a second bisector with x axis and let's see what it is coming to pi minus theta plus phi equal to oh sorry plus 2 theta so it is pi plus theta plus phi by 2 right or we can say pi by 2 plus theta plus phi by 2 so equation of second bisector is it's again passing through point uh, minus 5 comma 3 so y plus 5 equals to slope slope is tan of this angle into x minus 3 now you can compare uh, these two bisectors this one and this one with the given bisectors and and uh, check the choices right now the other approach uh, in this question can be you can simplify these two equations like this we we like uh, we have to find bisectors of the two given lines and all the lines are passing through minus 3 from uh, 3 comma minus 5 so we can reject we can just shift everything at origin we can say this is the equation of the first line x by cos theta equals to y by sin theta and second line is x by cos phi equal to y by sin phi and now we have to find bisectors of these two we can apply the result we can apply the result x minus y sorry cos theta sin theta uh, right, or we can write like this y minus tan theta into x mod divide by sec theta equals to y minus tan phi x divided by plus minus sec phi so these are equations of there is no need to put mod because I put plus minus these are two equations of bisectors of the two given lines when the lines are shifted at origin now once we have these lines we just have to add uh, we ha just have to shift them three units right and five units down that is their point of intersection should be made um, three comma minus five but you need not do that because you can directly match the choices and, and take the correct answer right so just have to uh, take two signs simplify them and you can match the choices so this is an easier approach as compared to the approach uh, we discussed before this where we have to geometrically see angles made by the bisectors with x-axis right so you can choose the approach you like